Amiibo! Welcome back to Candy's Classic Game Shrine, everyone. Today on this episode, I'm going to do an Amiibo showcase of my custom Amiibo. Now, I don't do it all the time. It's just a hobby that I do when I happen to think of an Amiibo that I would like to customize. Um... And I'm by no means an expert. This is mediocre work compared to many that I've seen. But I figured it would be nice to share it with you regardless. So without further ado, let's get started. First up is my Captain Toadette. She is uh, originally a toad that I took Tester's acrylic paint to and a sculpting clay of sorts called epoxy sculpt it's an air dry thing so i don't have to bake my amiibo and risk destroying them i never liked that idea anyway but here she is she's pretty simple give you a better look turn her around So there she is, there's Captain Toadette. Next up, the um, the next set of customs that I did was a trio of Charizards. I'll show you one at a time. Here is the simple one that I did, which was just a simple repaint of the shiny Charizard. I'll give him a nice twist. This is all hand painted and hand sculpted, very rudimentary tools. Okay, there is my shiny Charizard. Next up is my Charizard or Mega Charizard Y. He took a bit more sculpting and effort. Now you'll notice here his wings are chopped up. The shape of his wings are a little bit different. He has the addition of his third horn. Um, he's got his wings on his arms, both of them, along with the tail fins. Okay, that is Mega Charizard Y. And now, last but not least, as you can pretty much all guess, Mega Charizard X. This one took the most effort, the most sculpting, and it's not to my favorite standards, but it's good enough for me, I guess. Um, the tricky part was doing the blue flames. I had to take hot glue and sculpt it around his mouth and additionally around his original tail flame and then I had to dye the glue while it was still hot and I got it to work like that. Now he has his shoulder horns here. I'm not sure if you can see that. He has them on both sides. Like I said before, the blue flames, the blue tips on the tips of his horns. He's also got the larger, I guess they look like nails and talons on the tips of his wings, unlike the ones here. And a slightly different paint job. Oh, and red eyes. The other ones have blue. His wing shape is slightly different as well. It's more, more prongs, I guess you can call. And I'll give him a spin around for everyone. Now before you all comment, yes, I know his one wing is very sloppy. For whatever reason, it just wasn't taking. I think I was using something other than the epoxy sculpt here. And I was just fed up at the time. It was like 3 in the morning. This was the last time that I rushed one. Now if I had done this 
professionally for somebody that had commissioned it, that would be a different story. I would take my time, definitely wouldn't work myself till I'm exhausted, so forth and so on. But on top of the custom Charizards, I made these little custom Master Ball and Pokeball accessories. Um, I make a couple accessories for various Amiibo like that. But I figured I'd show them off because it was a cute time too. These are my custom Charizard. Hope you like them. Next up is the Ms. Pac-Man. She was more or less just a paint job. Um, I still want to add to her feet and make them high heels to make it more original and true to what she is. But uh, she's got her eyeliner, her little mole, her lipstick, her pretty little eyelashes, and a little bow that I made for her. This was very simple. Now, Pac-Man, which I have downstairs, he has a glow-in-the-dark power pellet that I made for him. Like, I made the cherries for her. And there's Miss Pac-Man. Now, one other one I made, this came out, or didn't come out, but I made it in memory of Satoru Iwata, because this character is from a game that he worked on back at HAL Laboratories. Many of you probably don't know it, but I've done a video review of the game and the series, so you can check that out on my channel. I'll put a link somewhere, probably in the description. Um, but without further ado, this is Lolo. This is from the Adventures of Lolo 1, 2, and 3. There's also a version on the Game Boy in Europe and Japan. Um, and also, there was also a series called Eggerland, which was on the MSX computer, um, the Famicom, and a couple other systems, and it featured this little guy. And it was just a puzzle game, but for whatever reason, as a child, I loved it, and I always thought he was cute, and now I have my own Lolo. This little cube is what you push around in the game, and I just figured it would be cute. Basically, I took a Kirby amiibo filled in his mouth and gave him a paint job. And at the back, I don't know if you can see, but I gave him his little Lolo tail. There's a glare that is making his eyes look weirder than they appear. I promise you, this eye is not as weird as it looks on camera. Now these are all working amiibo, and they're, you know, all my own work. This one is a bit special, the one I'm about to show you. This one I made from the ground up. The only thing that is not original that I didn't make was the NFC chip that is inside of it. It's from an amiibo card of a villager that I've always wanted to have a figure of, and that is Sahara. Sahara is a little camel. She goes around, she delivers, new, uh, not newspaper, wallpaper and carpet, and she's a camel. Camels are cute. They're like my favorite animal in the world. When I went to Israel and all that, I got to ride them and pet them every chance I got. It was wonderful. But yeah, this is a completely scannable and working amiibo. I made this from foil as a skeleton, and then I covered it in epoxy sculpt, and then I painted it. The base, people have asked me, why didn't you use a real base? Well, I don't want to butcher an existing amiibo. I don't like doing that unless I'm going to be customizing it. So, I decided to make my own. Plus, in my opinion, it fit the custom better than using a real base. Now, the base is used, uh, excuse me, is a used Snapple bottle cap covered in epoxy sculpt to give me the shape and the rough size of the Amiibo base. Because if you take a comparison, whoops, excuse me, Miss Pac-Man, if you take the base, it's roughly the same diameter. It's just a little bit thicker. 
now I will show you shortly that she works and scans completely fine in Happy Home Designer. She also works in Amiibo Festival, but it's only for mini games and nobody likes that game anyway, except me and my husband. So let me give you a nice look at her. Believe it or not, my inspiration for this came from eating a sandwich and getting ready to discard the foil that it was wrapped in because the foil looked like her and it gave me the idea to use the foil skeleton to save on the epoxy and to make it lighter. All right, guys, let me show you Sahara in action. Okay, everyone, here's my new 3DS. Here's my Sa Sahara Amiibo. And here I am ready to demonstrate for you. So let's open it up. Let's knock down my Amiibo. Let's uh, open it up to Happy Home Designer. Turn some volume up. That way it's not boring. And there she is, or he. Don't know what gender Sahara is. I think female. Doesn't matter to me. They're still cute either way. I never put you out of mind, Sahara. You're the cutest. But there you go, guys. There is my demonstration of my homemade amiibo. I hope you enjoyed this showcase. If I do more customs, I'll be sure to show you guys. There might be one of the Yarn Yoshi customs coming up. So stay tuned. And until next time, take care. <laughs>